Christie and New York, and we couldn't wait to get married with Governor Krispy Kreme here in New Jersey. <laughs> um, wouldn't let us get married. In New York, it only happened last year. So in 08, mm -hmm. when California had that little window, of, you know, we ran out there and got married because we just couldn't wait anymore. So, um, but Mayor John Shields sued New York. Um, I'm not sure of the whole story, John. You're going to have yeah. to gonna tell us. Sue New York to move marriage in New York. But you can all come to New York and get married. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> and, uh, Mayor John Shields. Not only that, but I'm the marriage officer in the village of Nyack. I'm empowered to marry anyone who wants to come to the village of Nyack. <laughs> all right. So, uh, just a short history. I'm old enough to have enlisted in the Army and been graciously asked to leave because I was gay. So I was one of those people who got a general discharge under honorable conditions way back when. Blessedly, that has changed. Subsequent to that, I became a New York City school teacher. Uh, I actually had to go see a psychiatrist because of my general discharge to prove that I wasn't somehow demented and could teach in New York City schools. And so I went through all that. I taught New York City schools, wound up becoming an elected official in the village of Nyack, openly gay, didn't run on a gay issue, ran on a local issue, but wound up then suing the state of New York for the right to marry. Uh, and if any of you have been never not picketed by GodHatesFags.com, you've missed an opportunity. <laughs> uh, so, but I was, I was picketed by that group of people. And uh, blessedly in my village, uh, the local high school kids in the Gay Straight Alliance came out and formed a group. 2,000 people came on my side opposing the God Hates Fags uh, people who were protesting in the village of Nyack. But what I wanted to say yeah. tonight, and to thank God for the kids, right, yeah. is what people don't realize. Everyone talked about the money, and I understand all of that. But make no mistake, the Republican Party is the enemy of the GLBT citizens of the United States. They are the enemy. And the platform has a tough anti-same-sex marriage stance in its official platform, supported by both the candidates, Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan. Now, we are citizens, and our radical agenda is to pay taxes, join the Army, raise families, work in the community. And yet, in this country, 10 states ban same-sex marriage, 18 ban civil, sex, civil unions, and two of them, all contracts between gay people for any kind of a union. This, this cannot stand. The anti-marriage the anti plank um, is an anomaly in a party that purports to sue, support the Constitution. Mm -hmm. It ignores the 16th Amendment. It ignores the 16th Amendment, equal protection under the law. And I call this the kind of cafeteria view of the Constitution. I'll put on my tray what I like and throw the rest away. And apparently the rest that, that they don't like is equal rights for every citizen. Now, to me, the marriage equality issue is not so much if I want to get married or not, but do I have the same rights as everybody else? And until that happens, we are not equal citizens in equal standing. And so this group, this group, the LBG people, are the last group that's acceptable to discriminate against in this country. And until DOMA is eliminated and marriage equality in all states, our fellow citizens will not have equal rights for health, housing, employment, and personal choices. So, so in November, it is only President Obama who will defend the rights of citizens to the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. He's the only one who understands that when the Pledge of Allegiance says liberty and justice for all, it means all, no exceptions. Liberty and justice for all. Susan B. Anthony said it does make a difference who's elected because who's elected when she was fighting for uh, women, there will never be a complete equality until women themselves help make the laws and elect the lawmakers. And the same thing goes for us. Now, just to show you where we're going with this and why it scares me, the Virginia senator who's running, uh, I don't know if you know about this, uh, uh, Bob Marshall, and this has to do with women, said that women who commit abortion are being punished by having children who have learning disabilities and other disabilities. This is God's punishment for your abortion. In 1996, in South, North Carolina, South Carolina, 
one uh, town, Greenville, passed a resolution that no gay people were welcome in that community. So these are things. And in Texas, I don't know if you read today's paper, there was a, a town in Texas, I have it here somewhere, I'm not going to rifle through all this, uh, that eliminated the cosmetology program because the principal of the high school did not want flamboyant gay men coming to his school. <laughs> so, I mean, we laugh at these things, and they are funny in a way, but the bottom line is, as long as conservative Republicans are in charge, we are not going to get our rights as citizens. That's mm -hmm. the bottom line, and that's what I have fought for. When I sued the state of New York in 2004, we, the suit never went anywhere, but hopefully it was a step towards something else, because at that time, I sued the state of New York, and you know New Pulse, they were marriage, marrying mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And so uh, 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 Mayor West and I talked about what the strategy should be. But the strategy has to be to forward the agenda of equality. Now, this whole business of physical conservatism and so forth and so on, and, and all this business, I'm not an economist, but what troubles me, I don't know if you all remember this, you do, I'm sure, the day after Obama was elected, Mitch O'Connell says, Mm -hmm. The only agenda of the Republican mm -hmm. Party mm -hmm. is to get rid of Obama. Mm -hmm. It was not to improve the country. Right. It was not anything but to get rid of Obama. And so my view is that over the past four years, three years, the Republican Party has done everything it could to torpedo anything President Obama did. Mm -hmm. And they will continue to do that if congressmen are not elected, if senators are not elected. So if we want equal rights for all citizens, for the GLP population, for women, and it's not only the right to choose, it's health care. We have got to make sure that this country gets rid of what I call the fascist Christian agenda. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. I have a video from the campaign. I don't think we need to see it. It's, you know, it's a video from the campaign.